Crypto.com. Hey everyone, Jared here from Crackberry.com. We're going to take a look at a comparison of <clears throat> the contacts application on iOS 5 running on an iPad 2 versus Playbook 2.0. And take a look at some of the differences and similarities. As you can see on the left here, we have a iPad 2 running iOS 5. And you can see that the contact layout is like a book. On the left hand side you have all of your contact names. On the right hand side you have your contact information. Name, picture, phone number, notes. Down the bottom here you have the ability to send a message, create a FaceTime call, share the contact, or add them to your favorites. Down here you can edit and you can add any information that you need to. Click cancel, come back here. Down here we have the ability to add a new contact. And on the left hand side over here, move that in a little, you have your A, B, C, D, E, F to kind of sort your contacts. So, as we know, as Adam showed us in the playbook, it's very different. The contact list on the playbook is definitely way more integrated. You have the ability to add your LinkedIn contacts, your Twitter contacts. Not only can you see your favorites here easily, you can also see your messaging contacts, so who we have available for video chat. So, if we hop in here... And we'll go back down here to T and we'll get the, the way the test contact is laid out on the playbook OS. You're going to notice here, it's a little different. Here you have the picture up at the top, your mobile number. You also have a list of options down here on the side, which you can scroll through. So we'll hop into, say, one of our Twitter contacts here. So here we have Blaze. As you can see here, I've added his email address so I can see that. Video chat is a go. You got his email, you have Twitter information, and his Twitter bio shows right here. If you click on the next tab, it's going to show his most recent tweet loads up you can see he's tweeted to at Netflix helps if we go here you can sort by to see if a company if you have any company uh, things to, in common next is your calendars so as you can see it is much more integrated verse here where you literally have the ability to either FaceTime them or send them a message or share them with someone else. Another way in which the contacts are better integrated into the playbook is say you want to hop into your messages application and here I want to send Blaze a direct message that says Hi, from my messages app. Click the send, and off it goes. Just like that, I've then sent him a direct message. And you can scroll through the, any of your other direct messages that you may have here. and it's all integrated it's in your messages you can go through your emails you can go right to your twitter go here you can see all of this click here the star makes it a favorite contact over here just click add the favorites adds the star makes it a favorite contact very similar here you can share contact 
one click using email or messaging. If we go to edit, see there's no easy way to share contact on the playbook. You can sort here. Over here we can click on the groups tab as well. So we click groups and you have all contacts all on my iPad or I have my exchange email in there for contacts. So click all contacts. It's going to bring all of your contacts to scroll here. Same thing. Adding a contact is as simple as clicking here first name last name all the information that you want to put in over here add a contact tap here same thing as a book style animation you add your name photo anything you want to add and it saves it right there for you overall the messaging application in iOS 5 on the iPad does what it needs to do. It gives you all of your contacts, presents them well, a nice clean book style interface, which to some people they'll enjoy, others it's just a little fancy. The Blackberry Playbook OS 2 update brings us great contact integration. You have a lot of information presented in an easy to read, easy to manage fashion.